Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about a hike at Terry Fox Provincial Park. So this is essentially the Terry Fox hike. Um, and you can see here I have uh, on my desktop Google Map showing the drive from Prince George to the city of Valemont, which is where this mountain and hike exists. And it's about 287 kilometers, basically a three hour drive um, from Prince George. And it's uh, in the vicinity of sort of Mount Robson. You can actually see Mount Robson from the peak. Um, and in this case, I drove my Tesla Model 3. And for anyone interested who's coming from Prince George, um, I drove from Prince George to McBride and I charged from 30, I arrived with 34%, I think I left with 96%, arrived with 34%, Tesla Model 3, all-wheel drive, long range, and then I charged from 34% um, up to 75, so I added 40%, gave myself extra buffer so that I could drive right to the trailhead, um, and I had 51%. Uh, battery. So that's what the drive was in my Tesla Model 3. So basically if you're coming from Prince George it's about a three hour drive. Um, if you're coming from Jasper I think it's maybe like two hours something like that. And if you live in McBride it's uh, I guess like an hour maybe not even an hour I don't know. So here's the web page for Mount Terry Fox Provincial Park can see there's like a whole history thing in here. This park was dedicated the year that uh, Terry Fox himself uh, passed away from cancer and I believe is in September of that year. S somewhere around there they dedicated this park and the main thing in this park is basically you can hike up to the peak. So let's talk a bit about that. So quick uh, note here the Caledonia Ramblers website which has a uh, bunch of details for the trails around Prince George and surrounding area has some details about this and they talk about the distance of the hike being about 18 kilometers duration about 10 hours uh, the difficulty rating they rated as very strenuous and uh, my previous video I made was about Erg Mountain and I was very curious how this video compares to to uh, Erg and uh, I will show some statistics on my Fitbit uh, where we compare, um, you know, what the distance and heart rate and all that kind of thing was from Erg compared to this hike. And the elevation gained 1,740 meters. It's a rough and steep in sections. So we'll compare those two in just a minute, but uh, let's uh, kind of take a look here. So. This is my Gaia GPS and I did actually track the hike. So for me, um, I didn't go to the Terry Fox Mountain Peak. I went to the cell tower, which is just before. And that's because there was a, a bunch of snow up there and I was hiking solo. So um, it's kind of late in the season. So I just decided just to get go to the cell tower. So if I went another hour, I would have went to the peak. But you can see here, uh, the round trip distance was 17.3 kilometers. I ascended 15.82 meters, and the whole hike was about seven hours for me. Um, I started the hike at nine in the morning, and I, think I arrived back to the car 3:34, something like that. And one of those hours shows here stop time was rest. I did see another person on the trail, and I chatted with them for a bit. Also stop for lunch at the top. So, but you can see here Highway 16, and then you pop down Highway 5 just a tiny bit, just north of the city of Valemont. And uh, there's a uh, rest area on this side of the highway here. You can see little bathrooms and stuff. And basically, it's right on the other side of the highway, uh, just a little bit south of that rest area. I think this is called like a Terry Fox rest stop or something and uh, just south there's this road stone I think it's called stone road or something and you drive left and you keep following it up here 
and yeah so I started yeah right about there so let's talk about this a bit because there are actually two trails I took the old original trail and that's what you see here in purple and I only went to this point on the map right here which is the cell tower and uh, there was still a bit to go down and then up onto the Terry Fox Peak up here and if you want to go to the plaque it's uh, probably another 45 minutes on this ridge uh, and again this is all covered in snow this area so I decided not to there is a new trail called the TP Creek uh, Trail and on this logging road down here I'll show it in my photo album there is a split in the road where it says TP Creek to the right old trail to the left and uh, if you take that TP Creek it does cut about two kilometers off the trail so it gives you a better chance of like getting right up to Terry Fox Mountain and getting to the plaque and it's hiking in the valley so it's not near as strenuous as the uh, original trail you follow the valley until you get right here you pop right up the mountain uh, at the hardest point right near past the cell tower and you hop up the mountain here into the ridge um, so let's talk about that a little bit so I'm just gonna do a quick uh, photo uh, shoot and after I go through this photo album I'll um, pop in some GoPro video footage of uh, little you know 20 second to you know couple minute uh, sections that I recorded with my GoPro just showing the hike up and hike down you'll get a picture of what this hike is like it's a very nice one um, how it compares to Erg Mountain it's different um, I still think probably Erg was harder than this one but this one was long it felt longer than Erg I guess because Erg the first few kilometers is on flat ground this one doesn't start on flat ground you're just always climbing and the switchbacks are very long um, and so maybe it might be a good idea to take that new route because it does cut back on taking those very long switchback sections but anyway let's take a look at these photo albums so you can see here in the first picture um, this is looking north on highway 5 and you can actually see the rest area right there there's like a bathroom there and a parking area on the side you drive south to this stone road and you turn left onto the gravel road and, and just follow from there eventually you'll come uh, on the road to this fork and you can see the sign there uh, brown and white sign says go to the old one and this green one is teepee creek go to the new one i think i have a zoomed in picture right new trailhead old trailhead and so going towards the old trailhead you come to another fork and there is a sign there it says Terry Fox Trail up here so I drove up there Terry Fox Trail and you come up to a landing here now the trailhead is not here it's still further up a hill and you'll see in, in a little video clip I just chose not to drive up there with my Tesla Model 3 it's a bit more steep and rocky I could have made it but decided to play it safe and just parked here besides is a gorgeous view of the mountains to the west anyways so that was kind of neat and this is a video clip showing where I am and sort of a 360 degree view of this parking area and up that direction up there is towards the Terry Fox Mountain and I think this video I walk up the road from the car so you get a view of what this road is like and someone was parked up there with their Honda Accord so it's pretty easy to get up there I just like I said I decided to take it safe grab my hiking poles and this is what the road looks like went with my dog and it's just a very short you can see sort of some big rocks on the sides here and some ruts and whatever yeah I wimped out I've been on roads like this before with my Tesla so 
I don't know why I didn't drive up to the trailhead, but made no difference anyway. Literally, the trailhead is just up here on the right. You'll see it open up. Kind of jog a little bit to the trailhead. Dog's getting hyper. And I will fast forward a bit. Getting to the clearing. And I believe right here on the right is the trailhead in the parking area. And that's where that Honda Accord is. And you'll see that sign there. It says Terry Fox Trailhead, etc., etc. And that's the trail right there. So let's continue on. So this is a little ways up the trail. You can kind of see the terrain sections where it gets rocky like this beautiful forest but these switchbacks are they're not very steep and there's like i think 37 or 38 of them so quite a few of these switchbacks in my opinion they could have been a bit more steep and more aggressive and then the trail wouldn't have been so long and you really feel it on the way down it's just a really long trail all right so here's another one with some deadfall cut most of the deadfall was uh, cleared, but there is some that you do have to climb over. So just to kind of show you the terrain, getting a little higher, I believe this is getting to the first viewpoint actually. So you'll get a nice view of what that looks like. So the trail continues here to the left, but uh, yeah, it kind of switched back to the left. But I continued here to the viewpoint and you can kind of start looking over the uh, city of Valmont and the valley where Teepee Creek starts. And right there, I believe that is the parking spot where Teepee Creek Trail starts. So you can see I've already, at this point, I believe I've traveled about one hour up the mountain and uh, there is Teepee Creek. And I typically go, I think two and a half kilometers per hour is normal for me. So let's just keep looking, some views and getting a little bit higher start to see a bit bigger rocks terrain is pretty interesting here's another viewpoint this one was really beautiful And uh, again, you can see Valmont off to the right in just a second here. Down there. And here's me a little bit higher, taking some pictures. Wind was blowing my hair in kind of the rocky area up here. And one thing I will say is you do, will want to practice your route finding skills because uh, you do lose the trail once you get into this rocky area, I mean, you, you keep seeing it off and on, but you do lose the trail and you can kind of um, lose your way if you're not careful. Here's another hike up the rocky part, and this is looking towards sort of the north on the trail. You can kind of see it looking towards the north. Now looking uh, west. The trail does go east again really nice views and again I'll show the uh, I'll put a link to my photo album having all of these but I'll also put um, some video clips at the end of this video just so you can see these so you can see the size of the boulders here you know you hit this section and their boulders are quite a bit larger eventually you do have to climb a lot of shale and uh, you know my dog had no problem climbing over this but she's about a year old and loves hiking this kind of stuff and there you can see she's always ahead of me on this hike so really had a great time i enjoyed this hike going up but coming down i didn't enjoy it i don't know why but uh it was really hard on, on the knees and it just felt very long but some really nice views up here 
just keep going here. You can see the rocks keep getting bigger and it does get a bit more dangerous on this trail off to the right. It's very steep and you'll see in some of these video clips, uh, you know, you will definitely want to be careful as you hike through these sections as it gets more and more steep. And actually if I pause it right here, so that peak there, that's Terry Fox Mountain. This peak here is the cell tower. And I believe that TP Creek shoots up somewhere up here. I think it comes up this valley up here and then you hike up to the peak. So I think it hikes up that valley off to the right. I don't know if this video will pan in that direction. Guess not. But uh, yeah, so the new trail avoids a lot of this rock. This is my uh, Bruce Lee scene where there's a whole bunch of cairns there and it kind of felt like enter the dragon kind of thing you know where's the kung fu master gonna come out from the rock to fight me again that's terry fox mountain street there and uh, we had to go to the left on the side ridge here through these rocks I'll just keep going through here you can see the trail right in front like i said it keeps disappearing but uh Definitely don't want to go when it's snowing out. You can see a little bit of snow there, but higher up there's quite a bit more. And pretty steep here on the right. Like it's, you slip and you fall down there and you, you know, you're going to get scratched for sure. You're going to get injured. So lots of pictures of trail going up here. You can see the trail here. Again, I use my cell phone to route find any time where I kind of lost track of where the trail was. At this point, I don't think I was on the trail because as I went forward, I could see the trail uh, approach again. If I just fast forward this. No, not there. Yeah, so the dog was going that direction, but it literally goes straight down a cliff. And the trail's off here to the left. So if you try to kind of think you're going to find a shortcut, you're not. <laughs> it's just very steep cliffs that go down here. Again, the TP Creek Trail, I believe it comes up this valley here. According to the map. And you shoot up right there. So let's just keep forwarding here. So this is now kind of on the ridge line here, going right towards the cell tower mountain. You can kind of see on the north face of everything a bunch more snow, and you can kind of see how much snow when you see the dog there. It was uh, up to my knees in some sections higher up here. This was not too bad, but slippery again, and, and it started getting really windy up here on the ridge. And the higher you went, of course, the more windy and cold it, it was getting. So still had a bunch to climb. Cell tower right on the top of that peak. Getting closer to the peak. A bunch more rocks and snow to climb on. This is kind of right close to that cell tower now. And I'll just let this video play because I believe we get right up there on the top and you can kind of see the views. So this will be the first thing you see. As you climb on these rocks and you get close to that cell tower, you don't want to get too close to it because the, there is pretty strong radio wave there. I don't think that's very healthy to be that close to uh, commercial grade uh, equipment like that. So I tried not to get too close, but again, if I pause it right here, that's Terry Fox Peak. And there's a little valley here right over this ridge that you have to go down and you climb up again. It's a fair bit of snow. It's hard to tell from this view, but that's fairly deep snow there. You can see the wind here. And uh, as I approach this direction again, so now you can see how you go down. And if I pause it here, so you go down the ridge, that's the Terry Fox Peak. And if you want to go to the plaque, you're supposed to go down this ridge here and then up this ridge. And somewhere on this ridge line, I think somewhere around here, is the Terry Fox plaque up here. So with all the snow and everything, I was not going to do it. And doing it solo my first time, I bailed. 
And there's that cell tower looking back on the city of Valemont. And I did head over towards the uh, sort of uh, north part of this peak. And there was like another peak that overlooked this valley. So there are a few lakes here, by the way, for water. There's no other water on the way up, but there's these, there's two, two or three lakes here that you can fill your water with, just so you know. This is me eating lunch, looking towards Valemont, so looking west. Again, looking west towards Valemont. That's the ridge line that I previously climbed up here. And this is looking towards the south. And this is those kind of snow peaked mountains towards the south. Uh, close up of those mountains and the little valley down there where Tipi Creek was flowing. City of Valmont. And here's us, I believe this is when we're heading back down. But I think I have some other videos showing where I head in a different direction. So this is us heading down again, so I'll just skip that to see. I can show yeah some more pictures up here on top Terry Fox Peak again Terry Fox Peak to the left and TP Creek sort of mountains there and this is us walking now um, to the most northerly area this is north of the cell tower you basically come to this kind of lookout and there's this big snow ridge and it's dangerous you don't want to get too close there because it drops down like quite a bit let's see if we can see the view here from the camera but yeah this is like on a cliff and it just drops straight down there uh, it's like a 50 60 foot drop or more maybe 100 foot um, if I pause it right here that right there is Mount Robson so this big flat tops area here you've got Mount Robson right behind it which is really beautiful always poking into the clouds there So I'm pointing towards Mount Robson. Pretty neat. And we'll just try to wrap up this video. So this is again on the uh, looking towards Terry Fox Mountain on the ridge line that where the plaque is, which I believe is up here. Plaque being up there. And again, that is Mount Robson. And I think the plaque is somewhere around here. And that's why it says 10 hours for this trip. That's if you go on the rest of these other sections here. And that's looking north. All right, what else do we see here? So just some more pictures. Again, that's one of the lakes kind of bit frozen over with snow, one of the smaller lakes. And this was the sort of ridge you could go down and climb up to Terry Fox Peak. I was tempted, but I just didn't want to do it with all the snow there. All right, uh, again, Mount Robson, a few pictures from a distance. And this is us heading back down the mountain, I believe. Uh, this is a, another one heading towards the cell tower from that most northerly peak again. And to the left here you can see the Terry Fox Peak there and the lake and whatnot. This is what it looks like on the back side of the cell tower. It is pretty steep going down there. And heading down the mountain at this point. It's done for the day and so had these little ledges here, and I, there was a, I think these were uh, snowmobile tracks on a lot of these uh, flat sections where snowmobilers must come up here in the winter. And just heading down again. Beautiful views looking west onto those mountains there. Lots of rocks to traverse. Getting close to this ridge. Climbing up the ridge now. 
And again on the north face you can see a lot more snow. And heading again through that rocky section, trying to find where the trail was. A bit more tough to find it on the way back, wasn't as obvious. And here you can kind of see, oh, there's the trail. You'd find every once in a while. There is some flagging here and there. Let's keep fast forwarding as I get closer down the mountain. You can see the trail cut out on the side of the ridge there. And pretty steep terrain here, by the way. I think this is that Bruce Lee area now, so made my way back into these rocks. Heading down and just deposit it here. Whoops. Just to give it a pause. So I came here and I ended up going to the right, which is not the correct area. It gets very steep and you actually can't go. The trail goes to the left here. So if you look carefully, it actually goes here to the left. All right, so I'll keep moving along, following that trail to the left. Getting closer to the tree line now. This is exactly where the tree line started. Still lots of rocks and uh, whatnot. It was very windy too, by the way, on the way down. Wind had really picked up. And trail goes on that little hill there. That's where we came from. You can see there it is. Heading down. Here's the trail. Here it is again. And uh, on the way up, I think Within the first few kilometers, if you look closely on one of the switchbacks, you'll see this uh, Thor hammer made out of wood right there, which is kind of neat. And just showing lots of blowdown in the forest here. Thankfully, someone cleared it here. I was pretty frustrated at this point saying, how long does it take to get down this mountain? It's just taking forever. And I believe this is right near the end where pop out to that parking area and there's that Honda Accord that was there. I did meet that hiker. I believe his name was Colin. And uh, so I just had to hike down the rest of this road towards where the Tesla was parked. And there's the trailhead sign. And here's me walking down the road, but we already saw this on the way up, so that's all we need to see. And that's all of the pictures, so that's really it. Um, it gives you sort of an idea of what it's like. I will now put uh, the good quality GoPro footage um, of the hike up and down and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video if you do please click the like button consider subscribing if these videos are helpful to you in any way and have a great all right we're started here the trailhead up towards Terry Fox let's get the show on the road let's go doggy come on It is 9 a.m., 8.56, close enough.
down here on the trail. You can see there, you can see back there, and just continuously. Looks like we're heading to a lookout here. Should be pretty beautiful. First real viewpoint on the Terry Fox Trail. Just a little over an hour up the trail. Continues. Oh, it does go this way, I think. Here's that viewpoint. Wow. That is beautiful. And I think that gravel pit down there, right there, that gravel pit, is the uh, new Terry Fox Trail. So it starts quite a bit up and then goes up the valley and hooks up here. But uh, should be interesting. I believe there's snow up here. So that's gonna be sketchy. When I look through the trees here, there's snow up there, folks. So wish me luck. God's blessing. Hi, Valemont. Beautiful Valemont. You guys are lucky to live here. Like I bought one of those little new stoves. Oh, yeah? And so that my thoughts were to go to yellow here. Half brown. Yeah. Which I did. But it was just annoying to have the answer. Put it in the box. Oh, all this camping gear. Yeah. And then I realized once I was on the road, no wonder I couldn't find it. I recall I put it in one of those. Uh, Warning, nice viewpoint right here. Gorgeous. Check it out. Epic. Woo! No, this is the valley that we have to go up. Wow. Across the valley. Yeah, we're going up there. But we'll be looking across to these mountains. Yeah. Wow. Look at this view. That trail must cut up here somewhere. Yeah, well. This would be a tough slog. I'll probably see you on the way up or down. I'm gonna take Let's go. Come on, man. go. Ooh, into the views. Up and away. tackle this. Take a lunch break first. See how high up we can get up into that bowl and see what it looks like. Let's go doggy. Get 
getting up there. Killer to get up there. Like Bruce Lee, enter the dragon right here, Falks. Enter the dragon. Which boss am I facing now? Crazy. Crazy, crazy. I think I gotta go across and follow the ridge or something like that. So the path goes over here. You can see a marker ahead. So no, I don't have to go through the ditch. I'll stick to the edges here. Just so we can find the boss for this level. Ah, there's the boss. On the trail again. Straight ahead here, there's a marker right up there. And another cairn right here. Getting there. Somehow I think, Penny, that is not the way. Marker straight ahead. Let's look at this cliff though. Oh. Whoa. <sighs> yeah. And it goes straight down. Pretty much. First peak is up there. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Bit of a slog. And we'll get there. Are there goats up here? Yes, there is. Getting there. Sketchy here. Kind of straight down. Dog loves it. Here we go. Just got to walk the ridge and up to the first peak. Decide what to do after that. A little bit of snow up here. On the north side of the face. Just to give an idea of how steep this is, my spidey senses are tingling. push. There's the 
cell tower. Get close. top of the crest. I guess we'll see here in a second. Legs are jello. Oh, I think it's going to be gorgeous. Just up here though. And this is what's on the other side. Gorgeous. going to skip these last two peaks because I see a bunch of snow and I'm really not prepared for snow. Not with how tired I am so yeah. I'm going to take a look over there. Let's go man, come on. Here we go. What? Yeah, I don't think I should step any closer. That looks like it's a snow cliff. Yep. Right there. Crazy. Way up here. Mount Robson, straight ahead. Gorgeous. Should I do that peak? Nah, I don't know. when to hold them.
ladies and gentlemen, is straight down. Literally. Yeah, it's as close as I get. Pretty sure. Oh look. A little river there. I think that's Cinnamon Mountain, and then that's Robson. So I'm not sure what river that is, but pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed here. Flat area down there, but I'm not gonna. Do it. 